Hey, welcome back to the next scenario on content and process automation. During this example, you will see and learn about ingestion and processing of a work order which has been sent in by a customer. We will meet our protagonists Gareth, Constance, Matthew and Ben on her daily work. Let's start with Gareth. A customer requests service for his industrial robots. Gareth opens OpenText Core Capture to scan the paper document. The document gets OCR'd, classified, data is being extracted automatically. That's all powered by the ML capabilities of the products. Let's directly jump to the validation screen. We can see that data from both from the header but also from the light items are extracted automatically. Still, in this screen, Gareth has the opportunity to do any corrections if needed. Once done, Gareth hits the submit button and he can focus on other tasks. The approval workflow has been started automatically and has been assigned to Constance. Constance can find the work order now in her personal assignments in AppWorks. Now Constance can review the work order, can review and view the document. She finds some discrepancies and she can actually do changes to the hourly rate for the Agilum 911 robot. Finally, she can actually approve the order. That one work order leads actually into three service cases, which are then routed to Matthew and his co-workers as their next assignments. For each and every of these cases, a corresponding extended ECM business workspace has been created to document the work. Matthew is using Salesforce Service Cloud to manage his work. He sees all the cases, the new one, opens it. He's on site, he can directly change metadata like the asset ID for this robot he's working on right now. During his work, he can actually access the diagnosis file on the robot. So he's navigating to the business workspace to actually keep these documents for future references. Without leaving the Salesforce user interface, he can directly navigate to the business workspace, take the files from his local file system and upload the documents to the business workspace. Here we are. So to complete his work, Matthew needs some reassurance out of the product documentation. So directly out of the business workspace, he's navigating from the case to the product and access the product documentation without leaving the Salesforce user experience. He's opening the product, he's accessing all the information he was looking for. Finally, Matthew can complete his work and he's ready to complete the case. However, he's not leaving the site before he gets his job completion form signed by the shift manager. Matthew is using core capture services on his mobile phone to capture the sheet. And yes, this document is also saved in the business workspace. Back to Constance. Finally, all cases has been completed by Matthew and his team. Now Constance can review all three cases which make up that one work order. Constance can now check all the documentation being stored in their respective business workspaces. Finally, once approved, the workflow is sent to billing. As finance is using Subfiori, also they have full transparency by accessing the business workspace in their preferred user interface. Now let's have a look how Ben is doing the modeling and configuration in AppWorks. In the AppWorks project, the data elements of our application are modeled as entities. We are looking at the work order entity, the central element in our application. In addition to the data structure, layout and form elements, it also contains the state of our lifecycle management in our case. It all starts with the validation, which is actually triggered by the external event. In our case, it was the event coming from Core Capture. The main background activity is the case creation in Salesforce and as a result also the business workspace creation in extended ECM. There's conditional routing for an approval. There's a building block for business workspaces. This building block connects AppWorks to the content of the metadata of extended ECM. That building block provides also the integration of this business workspace view of extended ECM into the user interface of AppWorks. 
That's all for this use case. Thanks so much for your attention.